is Benny McCarthy? No, not yeah. Melissa McCarthy's long lost brother. Does she even have a brother? I have no idea. But today I'm going to be telling you why the South African born coach Benny McCarthy may just be the reason why this club is saved. As we know, the Red Devils have had an absolutely brilliant season, fighting for second place in the Premier League, still in the FA Cup, they may just be on their way to the final of the Carabao Cup, and still in the Europa League. Hey, that's pretty good. So today, I'm going to be telling you why the South African-born coach may just be the reason for all of this. Look, obviously, as someone who is from the beautiful country of South Africa, it gives me immense pride that one of our country's heroes is the huge reason to why one of the biggest clubs in the world is succeeding at the moment. But I have come to the realization that maybe not a lot of people know about Benny McCarthy. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Benny McCarthy, who he is, what his role is at the club, and ultimately why he's helping Manchester United succeed at the moment. Once again, I hope that you guys do enjoy this kind of content if you don't don't forget to subscribe down below because well to be frank i like it when people subscribe it helps my channel grow but of course without further ado let's get into the question of who is benny mccarthy now it recently came out in a few interviews that both Eric Ten Hag and Bruno Fernandes had a lot of praise for the South African coach. Looking at Eric Ten Hag, the current Manchester United manager, he spoke about the fact that when wanting to fulfill a role at Manchester United in terms of their coaching staff, they were in dire needs of a striker coach. And looking at Benny McCarthy, they did want something different, a manager with a lot of experience and a manager who had a lot of experience as a striker throughout his career. And looking at Benny McCarthy and what he had achieved throughout his career, he was the perfect fit for it. Looking at Bruno Fernandes, is, as we know, one of the best midfielders in the Premier League and also a great goal scorer in the Premier League. He spoke about the fact that obviously him being Portuguese, he watched a lot of Porto growing up. And obviously Benny McCarthy being one of the most successful Porto players of all time. Once again, when Bruno Fernandes looks up to someone, I don't think we can really judge that. Now I've spoken enough about what other people think about Benny McCarthy, but let me make you guys decide for yourselves. Because looking at Benny McCarthy, about six months ago, he was appointed the first team coach of Manchester United in terms of their striker roles, which in terms of a striker role, you don't get much better. 31 goals for South Africa, making him Bafana Bafana's top goal scorer of all time. So in terms of South African footballing legends, I mean, he's essentially like our Cristiano Ronaldo. I think... <laughs> Okay, maybe not quite, but he is quite a big deal here. Looking at Benny McCarthy in terms of his playing career, although he started off in South Africa, he had massive success in Europe, playing in Europe for over 14 years. He played at the likes of Ajax, Salta Vigo, Porto, Blackburn Rovers, and even West Ham United, which at the end of the day is not a bad CV to have whatsoever. Especially looking at the success that he did end up having, obviously looking at Ajax, he did win the Eredivisie. Salta Vigo, maybe he didn't quite reach the levels of success that he hoped for in the Liga, but obviously was part of that famous Porto team that did win the Champions League with Jose Mourinho in 2004, which at the end of the day, not one of the worst teams to be in. I mean, it's all right, like was a huge part in them qualifying for the Champions League to gain the success at the end of the day and to date is the only South African to ever win the Champions League. As I said, this man is an absolutely big deal. As I said, then earned himself a move to the Premier League, to Blackburn Rovers, where he was second up. He was the runner-up to winning the Golden Boots in the Premier League with more goals than Cristiano Ronaldo. True. Unfortunately, he didn't quite succeed at West Ham United, picked up a few injuries and ended up ending his career at Orlando Pirates back in South Africa where, hey, he made a massive name for himself. So in terms of players, he is by far the best South Africa has ever had in my opinion. I mean, yes, you get one or two other big names like Mark Fish, you get Redebe, but in terms of looking at a player like Benny McCarthy, absolute legend in the name of the sport. And as I said, as a South African, I have immense pride that someone from my country, someone who's managed in my country, was born in this country. Once again, absolute legend in the name. Even in terms of South Africa, as I said, our top goal scorer of all time. And in the African Cup of Nations, I believe it was in 1998, he was even the Golden Boot winner. Unfortunately, just missed out by year or two in terms of the time that we won African Cup of Nations. He hadn't started playing his career yet. But looking at him in terms of South African football, African football, and football as a whole, he is very underrated. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. He ended up hanging up his boots from his playing career in 2013, but although he did have an amazing legacy, he then started his managerial career in 2015. Well, of course, first of all, he started off as an assistant manager in the Belgian Pro League for a year, but then ended up managing Cape Town City, where he even won the MTN8 Cup. After two years, he then ended up moving on to Amazulu, where once again, although he didn't pick up any trophies, he built a real name for himself in the managerial role, which of course, earned him the position of first team coach for Manchester United. And of course, this 
this as well answer the big question of the video what is his role at manchester united and how is he contributing to their success well of course as i mentioned early on in the video he was brought in as a striker coach teaching the forwards and the players as a whole to be a bit more prolific in front of the net which i think he has done just that of course one big question this season is how are they going to replace cristiano ronaldo maybe the best goal scorer of all time in the world of football well of course looking at his impact on a player like marcus rashford for example last season marcus rashford scored five goals in 32 games which once again as an attacker not numbers you want to hear but of course look at him this season 17 goals in 28 games nope correct that we've just played the first game of the fa cup 18 goals in 29 games marcus rashford is in the form of his life and you have benny mccarthy to thank for that you have saved our lives we are eternally grateful yes i know we're not getting a lot of other goal contributions from other players in the team although both Bagos has just scored his first goal for Manchester United which is brilliant to see but at the end of the day Benny McCarthy was brought in I believe to teach Marcus Rashford how to score again and how to be the perfect replacement for Cristiano Ronaldo although no the other players aren't quite chipping in although Jadon Sancho has been struggling with injuries I do believe Benny McCarthy has played his role and he could lead Manchester United to their first trophy in five years it's been 84 years but of course ladies and gentlemen that is pretty much it for today's video as i said he did teach marcus rashford and he did teach manchester united how to live life after ronaldo i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you do feel like you have learned something new don't forget to subscribe down below as we are still on the road to 10,000 subscribers of course don't forget to like down below as i said i want to cover a lot more african football this year and of course as someone so big in the world of football for one of the best clubs in the world of football does come from south africa hey i thought i might as well give them respect guys I hope that you did enjoy this video let me know do you think Benny McCarthy will have a positive impact at Manchester United is he the reason for their current turn in form guys I hope that you did enjoy this video this has been your boyfriend FYNN and until next time cheers